Good evening, everyone. It is Wednesday, and it's, golly, I think getting closer to 9 o'clock than it is 8.30. I just finished um, a beautiful time with dear brothers and sisters in Christ at Celebrate Recovery. I'm up here at uh, First Baptist Church in North Bay, and I'm just on my way out of here, but I had the blessing to be able to lead in worship this evening. And one of the songs that I chose was Amazing Grace, My Chains Are Gone. And then after everything was done, I chose Amazing Grace, the original hymn. And uh, it was wondered why, why would I do that? Well, for a couple of reasons. Um, number one, we need to be reminded that it is His amazing grace that provides our salvation. It's not of works. It's nothing what we can do. We can never win our way into heaven or work our way into heaven. Think about it. How do you know if you've done enough good works? And if you do something wrong, does that then negate all of your good works and you've therefore lost your place in heaven? That's living under fear. We're called to live under faith not under fear. And so I wanted to sing Amazing Grace. And I wanted to sing that my chains are gone and I have been set free. My Godhead, my Savior, right? He is the one who has redeemed me. He is the one that redeems us. And I wanted to sing both versions because um, as wonderful as the newer version is, the My Chains Are Gone version is, it skips over, um, and understandably so, uh, a few of the verses. It chooses um, some of the best ones, but not all of the best ones. And I, I think there could be, there's, there's a number of different versions of the original hymn. I think there's up to even possibly, I could be wrong, but even maybe eight different verses in the original hymn. So I wanted to sing it uh, this evening with the folk at Celebrate to Recovery to remind us all that it is God's amazing grace, His unfailing love, His steadfastness, and His sureness that um, shows that the promises that are made to us are kept, that He is faithful, and it is through Him alone. It is through Jesus Christ alone that salvation is possible. It is a work of the Holy Spirit and not a work of ourselves. Praise his name for that. So I'm going to sing you, um, <clears throat> pardon me, two verses from Amazing Grace. And I'm going to, uh, these are the two that are just going really through my mind. And I think they're both in the first one. <laughs> That's okay. But I want to sing them for you anyway. And you sing along with me. And remember God's amazing grace in your life. Hallelujah. Amazing grace. How sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me, I once was lost, but now I am found, was blind, but now I see. to me his word my hope secures he will my shield and my portion be as long as life endures. Okay, one more verse. When we've been there ten thousand years, bright 
Blessings, everyone.